Sisi tulichaguliwa na Mungu, tulichaguliwa na watu wengi na wengi na wengi. Si ndio? Regathi Gachagwa's journey in Kenyan politics is a remarkable tale of ambition, power, and the realities of political life. Born in 1965 in Nyeri County, central Kenya, Gachagwa rose from humble beginnings to become one of the most prominent figures in the country's political landscape. His story is marked by determination, tactical alliances, and controversy. Early life and career Gachagwa grew up in a politically conscious family. His parents were Mao Mao freedom fighters, and their influence shaped his sense of patriotism and desire to serve the public. After completing his education, Gachagwa joined the University of Nairobi, where he pursued a degree in political science and literature. His time in university further fueled his interest in public service, and upon graduation, he joined the provincial administration, a move that would mark the beginning of his long career in government. In the 1990s, Gachagwa worked closely with then-President Daniel Arap Moy's administration, holding various positions in the provincial administration. This gave him a first-hand understanding of the dynamics of Kenyan politics, and it provided him with connections that would prove crucial later in his career. During this period, he also served as the personal assistant to Uhuru Kenyatta when Kenyatta was the deputy prime minister and later as the president of Kenya. Political rise. From civil servant to parliament, Gachagwa's first significant political achievement came in 2017 when he was elected as the member of parliament for Mathira constituency in Nyeri County. His tenure as an MP showcased his ability to connect with the grassroots and his focus on development. He was vocal in supporting the government of President Uhuru Kenyatta, and his influence in central Kenya grew steadily. However, as political realignments took place leading to the 2022 general elections, Gachagua began to drift away from Kenyatta's camp. He aligned himself with Deputy President William Ruto, who had fallen out with President Kenyatta over succession politics. Gachagua became one of Ruto's most loyal allies and an ardent critic of Kenyatta's administration, particularly its policies that Gachagua claimed marginalized the interests of the people in the Mount Kenya region. Deputy President, the pinnacle of power. The 2022 general election marked the apex of Gachagua's political career. William Ruto, now running for president under the United Democratic Alliance UDA, chose Gachagua as his running mate. This decision was strategic. Gachagua was seen as the man who could galvanize the populous Mount Kenya region, which was crucial for Ruto's victory. Gachagua campaigned aggressively, using his sharp rhetoric to rally support for Ruto. His fiery speeches and his unwavering loyalty to Ruto won him admiration, but they also earned him enemies. He frequently clashed with opponents, including Uhuru Kenyatta's allies, and was often seen as abrasive. In August 2022, William Ruto won the presidency, and Ragathi Gachagwa was sworn in as the deputy president of Kenya. For a man who had spent decades in the background, it was the culmination of a long and tumultuous political journey. As deputy president, Gachagua promised to be a strong advocate for the people, especially those from the Mount Kenya region, and he projected himself as a champion of the hustlers, Kenya's working-class citizens. Controversies and criticism. However, Gachagua's time as deputy president was not without challenges. His style of leadership was often criticized as confrontational and divisive, he frequently made headlines for controversial remarks and his management of key issues, such as the country's economy and intergovernmental relations, drew scrutiny. 
One of the major controversies that clouded Gachagua's tenure was a corruption case that had been ongoing even before he became deputy president. Accusations of embezzlement and money laundering dogged him throughout his political rise. Though he denied the charges, his critics used the case to question his integrity and suitability for high office. This legal battle further polarized public opinion about him. Additionally, his relationship with President Ruto began to show cracks. There were rumors of growing tension between the two leaders, with reports suggesting that Ruto was unhappy with Gachagua's handling of political matters. Gachagua, on the other hand, felt sidelined in key decision-making processes. As Kenya's economy faced challenges and the cost of living rose, Gachagua became a convenient scapegoat for some of the administration's failures. The Fall – Political Isolation and Decline By 2024, Gachagua's political fortunes had started to decline. His once solid support base in the Mount Kenya region began to erode as local leaders questioned his effectiveness and commitment to the region's development. The constant negative press and his abrasive approach to politics alienated him from potential allies within government and opposition ranks. In a bid to regain relevance, Gachagua tried to reposition himself as a mediator in political disputes, but this only further exposed the widening gap between him and President Ruto. The political elite, sensing his vulnerability, began to distance themselves from him. Eventually, by late 2024, rumours of a cabinet reshuffle suggested that Gachagua might be demoted or stripped of some of his powers as deputy president. His decline was sealed when several influential leaders from Mount Kenya publicly declared their loss of confidence in his leadership. It became clear that Gachagua's once unstoppable political career was in freefall.